Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make these really adorable lace doily jars and or lanterns. And I just put a piece of wax paper down so I wouldn't mess up my scrapbook paper. So you're just going to need a jar that you want to decorate, some scissors, a larger doily and a smaller doily. And here are the sizes for both of them. And to decorate you're going to need some twine and a large paintbrush. And you're also going to need some Mod Podge or glue. So you just want to take your larger one and cut it straight down the middle and then cut about a fourth of your smaller one. Then you can just keep the extra pieces for other projects. So now you just want to take your doily and see if it's the size that you want for your jar and if it's not you can just cut a little more of it. So now this is where you're going to need your Mod Podge, but I don't have any so just take a little bit of glue and mix it with an equal part of water. And if you're using your jar, you can just mix it inside of your jar, but if you're going to use it for like eating later, I suggest not doing this part. And if it's not the right consistency, you can just add a little more glue. So just brush this on the back of your doily. And then place this on the front of your jar. So then you just want to do the same thing with your smaller one. And then take a little bit more of your glue and water mixture and just brush it on the top of the doily. Decoration! Okay, so this is my favorite part, and this is where you're going to need your twine, and you're just going to cut off a fairly long piece of it so it can wrap around a few times. And now you're just going to tie a knot just once around the front of the jar, and it's good to have a jar that with a screwy lid so it'll hook on to the lip of the jar. And you're just going to tie this into a knot, and then wrap it around once more. And now we're just going to wrap it around a third time, but this time we're just going to thread it through the top loop so it creates kind of a rope effect. And this part can be kind of tricky to do because the twine kind of splits apart when you thread it through. Okay, so after you're finished that, you're just going to clip off the extra pieces of twine. And then you're going to clip off these little hairy thingies. I don't know why it does that, but you're just going to clip those off to give it a cleaner look. And just put some glue in the knot you made just so it won't come apart later. So now, um, this stuff is optional, but I thought it was really adorable, and I found these little miniature clothespins in the in Hobby Lobby, like in the section where you get like popsicle sticks and stuff, so I thought those were really, really cute. And then I made this tiny little ribbon bow, and I got this from Puffy Teak's tutorial on YouTube. I'll leave her link in the description. So now I'm just writing a little note on a piece of paper. And you can just glue the bow anywhere you want on the jar. I suggest putting it where that really ugly knot is. Now just take your clothes pin and put it on the first piece of twine that you wrapped around because it's not going to fit on the second one. So then you're just going to put your note inside your clothes pin. And this is what it should look like when you're finished. So this is the other jar that I made and I just used this for my pens and pencils and paint brushes and all my other clay tools and things. Okay, so I just want to show you what these look like when the lights are off. And they look really beautiful when the lights are off. And I put these little tea light candles, I believe, inside of them. And I think they're really, really pretty. I think you should give it a try. And I'm in my bathroom in the dark with candles. So it's pretty spooky. So I'm just going to stop the video here. So yeah. 
Thanks for watching.